back to your viewers in the breakfast show. As you have followed, yesterday we uh, witnessed the celebration uh, of the uh, tribes and the families union that was attended by the uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi in the new administrative capital, marking the 51st anniversary of the October War victory. This event was very important and we, of course, need to discuss it with uh, His Excellency Mr. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Mr. Ambassador. Good morning, how are you? Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, for joining us on ITV International. And how do you see the keenness of the different generations of marking that great occasion? Very dear memories we, we lived it. And personally, I was not in Egypt. I was in Rio de Janeiro. Uh, then at 7 o'clock in the morning in Rio, it was already two o'clock in Egypt uh, when the invasion started to cross the Berlin line. So I, I spent the whole day waiting for news and at this far place in Latin America you cannot have uh, news easily. But of course we have a very big Arab community, Palestinians, Lebanese and Syrians and Egyptians and it was really a story you can make a movie about it. how the whole Arab world was supporting Egypt, how the Arab world uh, received the, the, the news of victory. And it was obvious that even the mass media in Brazil uh, felt that the uh, success we are, we are uh, realizing. And we were invited everywhere to talk about our victory, our army, our people, how we uh, liberalize our land also. It's a dear memory to me as a person and as a citizen. Yes, Mr. Ambassador, taking from your words, uh, you mentioned that uh, you were invited uh, to talk about it uh, in many places. And, uh, and also, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, uh, yesterday in the event, he watched eight short movies under the title Stories of the Heroes, or in Arabic, as we say, Hakayat al-Abtal. And as you said, that the October War victory is a very dear memory to all Egyptians and also for the Arab world. How do you see the importance of documenting such uh, inspiring heroes and telling the stories of them to the whole world? It's a part of our life. And uh, really, uh, uh, unfortunately, the Egyptian cinema did not make enough movies to tell all the stories. And once President Sisi asked me whether we have victims in our family, as a matter of fact, I have two victims, my cousins, one in 1956, the other was in 1973. Uh, there isn't a family in Egypt who did not practice the memory of, of uh, such a war, whether by having heroes who are still living and we enjoy uh, listening to them telling the details of what they did, or uh, victims, we, we, we pray God to, uh, to, to save them uh, in heaven. And uh, really, it, uh, we have many, many and plenty of stories. So I hope that the mass media can uh, present this, especially for uh, the, the new generation, because we have a whole generation who was not yet born. And many, many, many of our young uh, generation didn't see or, or uh, <coughs> it was not there during the war. So we, we, it's very good that we are commemorating such an event every year. And really it was good that the president himself was there talking about it. And uh, I, I'm enjoying really listening to the heroes of October, wherever they are presenting their stories at the TV or, or the mass media in general. And Mr. Ambassador, why uh, is it a must to be inspired by the spirit of October? Yes, th th this, uh, this expression is very dear, very important. And President Sadat started to use it, uh, saying that we have to act always with the spirit of October. It means that the spirit of that we, we, we insist when we want to succeed, we succeed. 
we made it. It, it was from a from, uh, few months before the October war. It was almost impossible for everyone or anybody to uh, imagine that we shall start this war. And of course, Sadat was clever enough to give the impression that we, we cannot start such a war. And uh, that, made, uh, that made the, the, the enemy relaxed. So when we started uh, the, the invasion, uh, we, we took them by surprise uh, at all. And uh, I, 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 I always <coughs> mention uh, an Israeli book called Al Mehdal. It means uh, the, 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 the mis. The manipulative, uh, maybe. Yes, the, 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 the misacting of yes. the Israelis. Because uh, until we start the invasion at 2 o'clock, and after two hours, their secret service didn't know the details about our invasion. And really, we took them by surprise, and that was part of the victory, to take them by surprise, to cross the Suez Canal, to uh, cross the Barlif uh, line, to destroy the part of the Barlif line, which is the, the, the sand line by, by uh, machine, water machines, uh, very, very uh, imaginative uh, uh, things which we used in this war. The surprise also was uh, the Egyptian soldier who took some uh, weapons very heavy under his uh, shoulders and it, it was the battle between the tank and the, the uh, just a soldier, and th that was in the first time in history that a soldier was facing a tank by himself and destroyed in, in, in such a very uh, courageous war. So the, the stories are plenty, and I, I hope that we can uh, tell our young generation about it in order to raise the October spirit which is a very important expression. It means that the, 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 the insistence on success and that we can do it whenever we want to do it. Mr. Ambassador, let me acknowledge that hearing you talking about the October War victory, actually your voice and your uh, emotions talking about this uh, event is very touching. But let me uh, tell you, uh, 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 let me ask this question, since you lost two victims from your own family in the October War, um, I would like to know how this spirit of the Egyptian soldiers is so inspiring, how is this spirit existing and how can we transmit this spirit to the whole world because there is no such uh, spirit in any soldiers, in any army in the whole world like the Egyptian army. So how do you comment on this? Yes, I, we always uh, enjoy repeating the story of my cousin, Hamdi al Bayoumi. He was my young cousin and uh, he was a dear friend to me, not only a cousin. And I, I, I watched him before I went to, uh, to Brazil. And uh, I, I was really amazed by his uh, authors and friends talking about his uh, courageous attitude during the war. He was in the tank battle, and he was a, a leader of a, a small group. And he, he destroyed all the tanks of the enemy. And the last one, he, he insisted to follow it until he destroyed it, but they succeeded to kill him also. And uh, the good thing that the army is naming his group of uh, uh, the army uh, under his name. We are proud of this, and we really repeat this to our children, to know that, that the price of... Uh, uh, freedom is, is really, uh, we, we are ready to pay the price of freedom whenever uh, we can. Mr. Ambassador, what about the lessons that the different generations should learn 
from the sacrifices of October generation? That the, 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 the important lesson is that we, we love our country, and really Egyptians are uh, in, in, in a sort of deep love to their country. We, we are proud of being citizens of the, the oldest country in the world. We have a history of, of our uh, army 2,000 years before Christ, when uh, the Egyptian army went to Palestine to liberalize it against the Hexes also. So uh, it's a dear memory of our history, and really we are proud of being Egyptians. And uh, we felt this especially after the October War. Everybody looked to us with uh, all appreciation, and we enjoyed uh, this treatment from our uh, friends. Especially, I, 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 I want to tell you that in Brazil, they love Egypt. They, they have a sort of... Uh, 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 love towards the Egyptian history, and especially that we have, that we have a small Egyptian uh, uh, community in Brazil. Some of them are very successful and very famous. I remember a child called Micheline. She was Egyptian, and she uh, she was hosted many times at a TV program talking about uh, old Egyptian history. And re really, I cannot tell you how much uh, students from uh, schools came to our embassy asking for any material or pictures about the old Egyptian civilization. This also we enjoyed in, during our presence, uh, our uh, presence in in Brazil, which is a very far country from Egypt. But uh, I am proud to tell you that uh, at this far place from the Middle East and Egypt, they, 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 they love our history. They are uh, really keen to uh, listen and to watch our movies or our uh, pictures and so on. Mr. Ambassador, uh, on another note, also in the event yesterday, so many uh, Egyptian political parties and youth entities have attended the event. To what extent do you think it, it is important for uh, such entities and political parties uh, uh, consisting from youth to attend such events? Yes, because in occasions like that, we are not families or parties. We are just one united uh, country. And really, our feelings towards our country is really very strong. So you you, you can uh, you are right. You can feel it uh, looking to the tens of thousands of people attending the occasion. Yesterday, it was obvious that all of them share one thing, which is loving the country, loving Egypt, which deserves uh, from us all what we can give for this country to be better and better. And Mr. Ambassador, how significant is it for Egyptians to stay unified? Of course we need this because one good, one good reason for any success that you can bring some policies where there is a national consensus about it. Really, I always say that, that it's not a theory or that we get some expert to solve our problems. No, the, the, the good thing is how we can market for a good policy and to make our people united behind the, the, the policies. And uh, even the president mentioned yesterday that we need this national consensus about the economic reform because it's not a secret that Egypt is facing some uh, trouble, uh, economic troubles, but although we are facing some economic troubles, we are much better than any other country. We, we still grow positively while even in Europe, they are, uh, the, the GDP is diminishing. Uh, uh, we are in, in the middle of uh, international crisis. 
economic crisis and Egypt is one rare country which is not uh, suffering like others. But still we are suffering. I, I pity all those who are uh, uh, members of the needy classes and we have to do something in order to help them to, to feel much better. And uh, th th this is the core of what we, co we, we talk about, national consensus about what we should do economically in order to make our life better, especially for the needy class. Mr. Ambassador, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi, uh, not only yesterday, but he always uh, comments on the resilience of the Egyptian citizens and uh, how they endure challenges and they face them uh, um, um, really with a very, very strong uh, spirit. How do you comment on this? And this is not happening only in war, like the October war victory, but also in the, uh, for example, the economic reform process and so many challenges that took place in Egypt. How do you comment on the Egyptian spirits and their resilience in facing any challenges? Yes, we have a, a president. We are lucky to have a president who believes in us, who believes that Egyptians are up to any challenge. And I, I am quite sure, talk to the president, that he, he believes that Egyptians can do whatever they want if, if they uh, agree upon what to do. So we, we, we are in another battle now, the economic battle, and I am quite sure that in a uh, few years to come, we shall be in a, in a much better situation, and we are up to it. If it is very good that the leader himself believes in us and believes that we can do it, and we can do it, of course. Um, Mr. Ambassador, as an expert, what is the best way by which we can commemorate this war and also victory? We should repeat this to the young generation. And I, I, as I said before, I think that the mass media is not uh, doing its best. We don't have uh, enough movies, although we have many books and stories. So le let us encourage those who are producers of movies or series at, uh, 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 in the TV, because really we need this for the younger generation. Uh, to know what happened in their country and this is a very good occasion to talk about it to the young generation to make sure that they believe in their country and they believe in their people and their uh, will whenever they want to do something that we have the will to do it and we can do it of course. Mr. Ambassador, yesterday in the event, uh, I, I don't want to miss actually this point that uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi stressed on the role of the tribes and the families unions, uh, families union in the uh, October war victory. How do you comment on, on this, on their role? Yes, this is part of uh, uh, establishing what we said, national consensus that it is very important for any policy to have uh, the support of the majority of the people. But in, in cases like the October war, it was not the majority. It was absolutely every single family and every single citizen was behind it. And we, we did mm. our best and we deserve the victory we got because of that. This is what uh, the, the, the secret about the victory that every single Egyptian was behind it, and we have to teach this lesson to our uh, new generation to uh, get the lesson and to do the same and to keep loving their country and to be proud about it. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former assistant foreign minister, thank you so much for your insight. And now, dear viewers, short break, and we will be back.